Okay, hello everyone. My name is Mohammad Amdan Abbasi, and this is welcome to my coursework testing video. So, just as a run through of all my objectives which I wanted to complete, which I put in my analysis, I have my um, <clears throat> yeah, I have the first objective being that the program should load a simple web page. Uh, let me just go to my analysis actually. Um, yeah. So host a simple web page with multiple drop downs for inputting various content filters such as you can so the user can input their um, filters to be either actor, director, genre or movie name. Um, they will be obviously displayed with these four recommending recommender options. Uh, the user will be allowed to input multiple genres in uh, for a mixed movie recommendation. The user will be asked for uh, a number to input so that it inputs sorry the user will be asked to input the number of movies they want recommended and they would also be asked whether they want uh, their movie posters to be fetched over here and then the, for each movie in the recommendation it should uh, display the movie rating the, uh, the all the other movie information like uh, who is directed by who is the cast what's the story behind it the rating of it and if the user selected yes for the movie poster then it should also retrieve the movie poster and then for genre based recommendation it will ask the user to sort by specific movie rating so like the user can input a specific rating which they want and then the recommended movies will be sorted based off of this rating so let's begin um where is my program okay let's run this and i'm using streamnet for all of this processing and like so i can host my machine learning algorithm on a website to make it a simple client server Okay, so here we go. So let's begin. This is obviously um, checks off the first objective, which was to load a simple web page. It has a logo called Ratflex. That's my movie recommendation system name. Uh, but it tells me that I have got this information or this data from the IMDb 5000 movie data set. Then it first asks me to select the recommendation type and it gives me four options and obviously if I don't select one of those options then it gives some exception handling where it just tells me to input an option or else the program can't move on. So say I put in let's start with movie based. Um, this is obviously like I said this will give me whether I, the option to fetch my movie poster or not. Uh, let's say I say yes to this option and then I have to obviously select my movie and this gives us a similar exception handling where if I don't select any movie then it will ask me then it, it won't move on and it will ask me to select a movie in bold or in highlighted form and this obviously contains all the 5000 movies which I can search up with my keyboard or input manually using the scrolling option so say I put in the Avengers Age of Ultron and then I put in I want 5 movies recommended the maximum being 20 then the program should start running and should give me all the movie options uh, give me all the movie recommendations with the link, the director, the actors, the story behind it, and the IMDb rating. And this will take a little bit of time, which I've put as an exclaimer over here. So it's recommended with two movies so far. Uh, let's just test out that everything works. So if I put in, if I click on the X Men link, as you can see, it leads me to X Men. The IMDb rating is 7.3. So let's cross check that. And as you can see, it's 7.3. The story is this in a world where mutants evolve, whatever, and that should be the same as what's written in the website. As you can see, in a world where mutants. Um, director is Brian Singer, and these are the right, uh, the stars: Patrick Stewart, Jackman, and McKellen. Which you can see here, Jackman, Stewart, McKellen, Jansen being another one, and that's probably because she is in the longer list of actors. Yeah, Jansen is right here. Right, there we go. Wait, sorry. This. Okay, so um, this should be finished. Um, how many? Okay, yeah. It's just currently fetching me the direct, the movie information for the Iron Man three, which is the last movie in this recommendation list. 
as it's the fifth movie and I've only opted for five movies to be recommended. Obviously, as you can see, the movie poster has been fetched properly. And um, yeah, everything works here. The story is given. Let's try it with no movie poster, Fetcher. And this time, let's put in six. Yeah, so as you can see, it's pretty much the same thing, but with minus the uh, movie posters. Obviously, it loads much faster. Again, the same stuff. Uh, yeah, and as you can see, it gives me six recommendations: Star Trek, Iron Man, Star Trek Two, Fifth Element, X Men Apocalypse, and X Men. Next will be let's try genre based now. So now a user can select any specific genre which they enjoy and this program should recommend them a bunch of movies which contain this genre. So say I put an action, obviously you can multi-select so you can click on as many as you want. Um, let's say I put in just action and I want to fetch movie posters The and in this uh, as said in the objectives um, over here where for genres, it will ask the user to sort by specific uh, movie rating. One sec, some typo. So, over here, um, clearly it asks um, what IMDb rating uh, they want for the movie recommendation. Say, I want, it's okay, so in this, it's not fetching any movie posters as of right now. And then you get these movies Kill Bill, Batman Returns, Taken. And this is. Yeah, as you, can, as you can see, I asked them to put in five movies for recommendations, and they, it has given me five movies with the story, the IMDb rating, the cast, and the director. So if I put on Taken, if I just go to the IMDb link, its IMDb rating is 7.8, which is correct. A story is a retired CIA agent travels across Europe, something along those lines. Yep, a retired CIA agent travels across Europe, so the story, the rating is correct. Directed by Pierre Morel, as you can see, Pierre Morel is the director. And then the stars are some Liam Neeson, Maggie Grace, and I do not know how to pronounce his name, but Famke Janssen, I'm assuming. Uh, Liam Neeson, Maggie Grace, okay, now these two is because it has taken it from the longer list of stars in this movie. Um, so, Leland Orser and John Grise, or John Grise, as you can see, Leland Grise and Leland Orser and John Grise. Okay, so this is going to be the same as in like the link and the formatting is going to be the same for each movie. And as you can see, it's recommended in five movies. So, if I change this to six movies, it should just add one more movie. Yeah, so the course stopped working. It's done. Yeah, as you can see, six movies, no movie posters. Cause I mean, I want to save time. I don't want to fetch them, but I can show you the work. You know what? Just me. Let me just put this in. Uh, let me fetch movie poster and I'll just change it to five movies. Uh, 
and uh, let me just change it so I can I put in action and um actually yeah action and sport let's say just random filter now then let us wait Yeah, so as you can see, some of the recommendations are Kill Bill, who is the director, and the story, and then IMDb rating. And so one issue with this is sometimes in the original link, the IMDb website, uh, it might be corrupt, so it won't actually properly fetch the story. Uh, this happens with a few of my movies recommendations, but as you can see, in this it works. Um, this shower in software. So as you can see, these recommendations are similar to the genres I want action and sport and obviously Shaolin Soccer seems like it has action and sport in it it tells me the rating and obviously the rest is the same as what I mentioned before and yeah I'll just wait for the sixth how many movies have I asked it for? yeah five, I'll just ask for the last movie as you can see in this there is no story because um, <clears throat> the IMDB link uh, doesn't work as in like the, the it's been corrupted for the story part of the page because I'm basically using um, Beautiful Soup, which is something which is a web scraping device used for parsing HTML and everything. So the HTML for this one particular movie must not work. That's why it's not fetching any story. But it's fetching me the actors and the director properly. I'm assuming. So if I go to the Hustler, um, it has a eight IMDb rating, which is correct, and it's called the Hustler. It has. Um, Robert Rossin and then these different styles which are correct as you can see Robert Rossin and Paul Newman is there where is it gone yeah Paul Newman and everything so yeah the the, in, the information is correct but sometimes it just doesn't fetch it properly because of the HTML parsing um, moving on to uh, actually let me just check one more thing so in genre base let's say I go to <coughs> comedy <coughs> And I can change this, so let's say I put this to 1, so e all the movie recommendations will be, <coughs> excuse me, so all the movie recommendations will be around the 1 star rating. so this has finished running five movies let's just check that five movies and recommended this one two three four five and then let's just check the rating real quick so yeah this is 1.9 2.3 2.2 2.5 2.4 all of them are around the pretty much the lowest rating which imdb has lowest rating movies which imdb has the rest is the same and then the story as ever becomes the head of a major company these are all the same and then I'm debating, let's just check chairman of the board. Uh, yeah, it's 2.3 as you can see. So yeah, all of this works. These filters work, so the IMDb rating filter works, the number of movies works, and the poster fetcher works as well, as well as the multi-select for the genres. Now moving on to director based. Now these two are direct these two um, are using the cosine similarity algorithm, which I discuss in my NEA somewhere else. So you have all the list of um, names unique names <coughs> for the directors 
so let's say i put in my favorite director quentin tarantino here he comes up and in last mama c257 we posted this is the common theme in all of the recommendation types ask me the number of movies and here we go it's gonna explore it's gonna recommend me the movies which are similar to or directed by quentin tarantino which the user the end client my media students should give a watch or should you know do stuff with it so here we have the movie link inglorious bastards we have the cast we have the story we have the imdb rating i'm assuming the imdb rating should be the same uh 8.3 is imdb rating which is corresponding correctly corresponding to this imdb rating story in nazi occupied france during world war 2 let's just check if that's correct yeah in nazi occupying in nazi occupied france during world war 2 okay uh the cast is brad pitt yep all this is similar then directed by quentin tarantino uh yeah better by quentin tarantino okay yeah and then the rest is going to be the same all these movies which are similar to or with all these movie recommendations based off of the input of input being quentin tarantino and then uh let's try some other let's try steven spielberg sorry yeah oh my god there you go see i don't want to fetch movie poster then i'll change it to six movies now when i just wait for this yeah so the bsg again directed the who the director is the cast the story the imdb rating and then uh, the imdb link they should lead me to the bfc home page yes so it's 6.3 rating let's see if that's correct yeah 6.3 so yeah the movie information works the link works the fetch let's just fetch movie posters obviously it should work cuz it's using the same methods and same functions as the previous two movie and genre based recommendation types Yeah, as you can see, it's fetching the movie poster, so everything else will be the same. Next, let's go to the last one, actor base. So, if you want to, if you want movies recommended based off of your actor of choice, I guess. So, say I want it to be Chris Evans. Oh, sorry. And I wanted to fetch movie posters, and I want the number of movies to be seven. Oh, bear with me, this will take some time. So this is the first movie. I'll just explain as they load to save some time. So Fantastic Four. Let's just check out the movie. Link works. Yes, it does. It's a 5.6 rating. 5.6 rating. Give me the story. Give me the cast. Give me the director. Narrated by Tim Story. Um. Yeah, narrated by Tim Story. And yeah, Chris Evans being one of the actors, obviously, in this. Then you have Sunshine, Snowpiercer. Yeah, all these movies which it will recommend soon. I'll just wait for this to run and then I'll uh, test this without asking it to fetch movie posters. So far, from the objective list, I have ticked off the fact that we have a web page or a simple like client server model. We have a client server model which recommends me movies based off of various different user inputs, them being the director, actor, genre, and movie recommendation based. Um, I have the option for the user to either whether to for them to uh, fetch movie posters or not. My program will also asks also ask whether to um, um, what's it called uh, to ask how many uh, movies they want recommended, and my program also asks. about the imdb rating the specific imdb rating which is which uh, the user wants when they click on the genre as the recommendation type and uh, the user is can uh, click on multiple genres whenever when they asking for the 
uh, genre type so they can click on action and comedy and crime for example and the, the program will recommend movies based off of those uh, filters which they put in and yeah this program has stopped I mean it's finished working or finished processing so just to check number of movies is 7 so let's just check 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 movies have been recommended each one with their link and each one with a story each one obviously with the theme of Chris Evans so these are all the movies which are which the program thinks the user will enjoy if they like Chris Evans um let me try this without the movie posters and change this to another metric let's say nine movies so again this happens quite fast now so you have the fantastic four again you have the rating which is the same yep 5.6 you have sunshine you'll have the yeah snowpier so you have all these movies Okay, so the program has finished its job and let's just count again. So this is the first movie. It should recommend nine movies, right? So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. Okay, so these are the nine movies. Avatar, Iceman, <coughs> not another teen movie, What's Your Number, The Losers, and TMNT and Snowpiercer, Sunshine, all these movies, right? And again, it gives me the story for each one. It gives me the cast, it gives me the director, being Tim Story. Um, let me try this IMDb link, let's say it's Snowpiercer. It gives me the rating as 7.1 and uh, Snowpiercer is 7.1. Stories in a future, whatever continued. Yeah, so in a future where a failed climate change experiment has killed all life, okay, that's corresponding to this information the cast again being Chris Evans because that's the my direct my actor input and yeah this works I obviously have the choice to, cho to choose between all of these so let me just put in some random let's say Amanda Detmer I'll put in let's say six movies Yeah, so this is just showing me the movies which I would enjoy if I like Amanda as an actor. Again, the same same format as the last four, the last three. The rating, the story, the cast, the, spe the director. If I go on Spectre, let's see. Then, yeah, you can see it's a James Bond. Sorry, not James Bond. Um yeah so it has 6.8 as the rating as you can see yeah it is James Bond sorry then the story yeah still the story is the same cryptic message from James Bond yeah Christian message from James Bond then director Sam Mendes Sam Mendes and then yeah these are the writers oh sorry not writers ah uh, sorry One second. Yeah, so the star is being
in the stars all of these stars which are what the program thinks will uh, the user like if she liked if she or he liked Amanda what was the name Amanda Datman so yeah this is my NEA coursework this is my project which I've been working on and uh, as you can see the objectives have been complete everything works properly um, I would test um, this um, with other exception handling so that being if it doesn't say if the if it, it can't fetch the movie link then it should display the fact that uh, no movie directors or no movie uh, information can be fetched uh, let me quickly try doing that I don't have the I can't actually like force an error in this program because obviously all of this is using IMDB so unless there's a fully f there's a fault in I the IMDB link itself this these errors won't pop up and doing that is kind of hard so uh, let me just quickly try doing this and if not then yeah this is the end of my testing video and uh, let's try <clears throat> putting some fault in my code so that that exception handling can come up one second what happens if I just put a wrong API key okay one second Let me see if this works. Yeah, as you can see, because I put in the wrong API link, I've added an extra four over here. This would not give me anything. Could not find the link to the movie poster fetcher and could not find the movie information. This will uh, successfully give me all of this, all of these uh, validations, I guess. So yeah, that's another objective ticked, which is to give um, proper, correct validation if anything wrong happens with the IMDb HTML page or some my data set gets corrupt. So yeah, this is the five movies which it was supposed to fetch, but it won't because it can't find the link or cannot find the movie information. And that's because I purposely changed my API to not work, my IMDb API. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and uh, this is the end of my testing video. Have a good, good day.